Arc, Vivaldi, and Firefox. Three browsers, countless features, but only one can be your perfect match. Grab your coffee because I'm about to help you find out which one it is. I've been testing out browsers for several years and I'll tell you, they've come a long way over the years. These days, we've got advanced encryption, awesome features and even powerful productivity tools. Now, if you caught our best web browser to use in 2024 video, you already know we're big fans of Vivaldi and Firefox, but I wanna throw Arc into the mix because I believe it's got some attention grabbing features you need to check out. So stick around. And hey, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel and tap the bell icon. That way you'll be first to know when we drop more videos like this. Let's go. All right. We're kicking things off with what matters most, keeping your online life safe and sound. Firefox doesn't make money by using your data to help advertisers like <coughs> Chrome. So what kind of data does Firefox actually collect? Well, things like your device type, operating system, and browser details. It also tracks interaction data and usage data, but all tied to a random ID that's unique to each Firefox user. This way, even if someone gets a hold of the data, they won't be able to tell it's yours. Let's talk about one of Firefox standout features, its approach to fingerprinting. Ever heard of digital fingerprinting? Well, it's a sneaky technique websites use to identify you even if you're in incognito mode or using a VPN. They do this by collecting unique bits of information about your browser settings and system configuration. But here's where Firefox shines. It says, not on my watch, not on my watch. It blocks fingerprinting attempts by default. How does it do this? Firefox does it basically by using a technique called letterboxing, which essentially rounds the dimensions of your browser window. This makes it harder for websites to create a unique profile of your device. Now, Vivaldi and Arc aren't exactly slouches in the privacy department either. Vivaldi is taking the what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas approach and when it comes to your data, you can set different privacy levels for different websites, decide who gets to use your camera or microphone, and even control how much information you share with Vivaldi itself. Vivaldi isn't in the business of selling your info or sharing it with third parties. It also blocks trackers and ads, and the company itself doesn't track what you're doing. One thing to note though, if the law comes knocking with a court order, Vivaldi will have to share your user data, but that's pretty standard across the board. For Arc, it is built in Chromium, but without Google's data tracking um, strings attached. They've made some bold claims about not tracking or selling data, and they claim they don't know the sites you visit or what you type. Arc does collect some data, but they're pretty clever about it. Before they store anything about your location, they anonymize your IP address. Then they use a local lookup to get a rough idea where you are. Why? Well, they want to know how many people are using Arc and where they're from, but they don't know exactly where you live to do that. It's like they found a sweet spot between gathering useful data and respecting your privacy. You might be thinking, this all really sounds great, but what about the features? Good question. All three browsers tick the privacy and security box, but they're, they're not created equal when it comes to features. This is where things get interesting, so really keep watching. We'll uncover it here. Firefox strikes a nice balance between features and simplicity. The user interface is clean and familiar, making it easy for most people to use. Firefox lets you make it your own with various themes that change up the look of menus and system pages, and navigation is pretty straightforward. You'll find the traditional tab bar at the top, the address bar doubles as a powerful search tool offering suggestions from your history, bookmarks, and to all the open tabs. For all the tab hoarders out there, I see you. And honestly, I'm too. Sometimes I have like 60 tabs open. Here's a trick that I found really helpful. Just add a percentage sign to your URL search bar and you can search through all your open tabs, even different windows. So that's not bad at all and a pretty good trick. 
You can use Firefox on pretty much any device, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, iOS, and if you're constantly bouncing between devices, you'll love the tab sending feature. For example, if you're reading something on your phone, but you want to continue on a computer, just send the tab over. No more sending links to yourself or bombarding your best friend with random URLs at 2 a.m. in the morning. Another standout feature of Firefox is picture in picture. It lets you pop out videos to play over other windows. Perfect for <coughs> multitasking or watching a show while pretending to work. Just kidding. Or am I really? Now, Firefox isn't perfect performance wise. It really comes a long way though. Users have noticed that it can be a little bit of a ram hog, especially if you're running a bunch of add-ons, but we'll dive deeper into speed later. And Next, we've got Vivaldi, the chameleon of browsers. If you're big on customization, you're gonna love this one. With Vivaldi, you can tweak just about everything. You can tweak the color scheme, you can change the tab placements, you choose the address bar location, even just the corner roundness. It can be overwhelming at first, and there are like so many features that it might take some time to find your way around. And Vivaldi works on Windows, macOS, Linux, and iOS, and no matter what device you're on, you get this sleek desktop style tab bar that makes managing your tabs very easy. While Firefox relies on add-ons, Vivaldi comes with a built-in toolkit that will make any productivity guru drool. You've got a mail client, calendar, feed reader, and even a translation tool all built right into the browser. And Vivaldi's even got its own Pomodoro timer right baked into it. One of Vivaldi's killer features is tab stacks. Imagine you're planning a trip. You can group all your travel related tabs into one stack. It's like having a digital travel folder right in your browser and when you need to see everything all at once, you can tile those tabs and view them all side by side. Vivaldi also has web panels, which are like mini browsers within your browser. You can keep your Twitter feed or a chat window open alongside your main browsing window. It's perfect for those of us who like to keep an eye on multiple things at once. Vivaldi isn't just a pretty face. Performance-wise, this browser can hold its own. Got a habit of keeping two million tabs open? No judgment here, I'm guilty of that too. The company rolled out a feature called Memory Saver. It handles multiple tabs like a champ and doesn't hog your computer's memory. Last but not least, Arc. Arc offers a fresh take on browsing. It's like the cool new transfer student who's shaking things up. I'm talking a sleek, minimalist design. The user interface is clean and intuitive with a sidebar that houses all your tabs and spaces. Navigation is a breeze, but it's got vertical tabs. Love them or hate them, well, they're there. One of Arc's standout feature is its split view. Imagine you're comparing flight prices. You can have multiple travel sites open side by side in one window. It's like having multiple monitors, but all in one browser tab. And Arc also has this cool feature called Spaces. Think of it as having multiple personalities for your browser. You can have a workspace and a personal space and, a, and another space that we don't want to mention here. Uh, each space keeps a tabs and settings separate, so your work and life never crashes your Netflix binge. Now, performance-wise, Arc doesn't disappoint. It handles multiple tabs like a champ thanks to its auto-archive feature. And what's impressive is that Arc is built in Swift, a programming language originally developed by Apple. It is known for its performance and safety, and it's impressive that Arc is using it. One thing to know is that Arc is only available for macOS and Windows. However, if you're on iOS, you can still get a taste with Arc Search, their mobile app. Instead of opening a dozen tabs yourself, you can ask Arc to do the legwork. It'll search the web, visit relevant pages, and compile the information for you. It is marketed as a quicker way to search for things. It is very visually appealing, I'll give it that, but it's not exactly speedy. It is also worth noting that once you close the app, <laughs> your results are gone. You can bounce back and forth between searches if you keep the app open, but the moment you exit, it's like a search has never happened. Now, let's talk about speed. We put these browsers through three tests, speedometer, jet stream, and motion mark. Arc was the fastest when it comes to page loading speeds. It beat Firefox and Vivaldi in all of our tests. So if you want speed, 
arcs your best bet. Vivaldi was in the middle. It's not the fastest, but it's not so slow either. For most people, I reckon it'll feel quick enough. Firefox came in last, but don't worry, it's still fast enough for everyday use. Plus, it's good at handling lots and lots and lots of open tabs without slowing down your computer. And for a deep dive into the fastest browser options in 2024, check out our detailed article linked in the description box below that you can read on cloudwoods.net. So, which browser comes out on top? Well, it really depends on what you're looking for. If speed and innovative features are your thing, Arc might be your best bet. If you're a power user who loves to customize every aspect of a browsing experience, Vivaldi could be your perfect match. And if privacy is your top concern, Firefox is still hard to beat. But if I had to pick, I'd go with Vivaldi. I like that it's super customizable, letting you tweak everything to fit your style. It's fast, handles lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of tabs well, and takes your privacy seriously. And that's all I, we, everyone really wants. So, what do you think? Are you Team Arc, Vivaldi, or sticking with good old Firefox? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And hey, if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit subscribe, like this video, and hit that bell icon for more tech insights. Thanks for hanging out, and catch you next time. Bye-bye.